Okay, let's solve an example of a mass spectrometer problem. So in this case, you have the accelerator part and you have the magnetic field part, the, the separator. And it's telling you that you take this particle of unknown charge and mass and I'm going to inject it into this field. And I know the field and it moves in a uh, semicircular path like this. And I know the radius of that path. And I have an accelerating voltage here that makes that thing speed up from rest and get injected. And the question is, what is the charge to mass ratio, right? So that's what we're trying to figure out. Okay, so this is a mass spectrometer problem, right? And so in, in, there's three different parts to a mass spectrometer problem, but they're all kind of following the same thing. So the first part is the accelerator. And so if you remember, in an accelerator, it's just conservation of energy. So I can say that the electrical potential energy caused by this potential difference here that makes this charge speed up from rest over to here is equal to the kinetic energy that it has when it gets injected into there, right? So I can set those two equal. If I substitute in, I know that electrical energy is charge times voltage, and I know kinetic energy is one half mv squared. So I take this equation and I have QV equals one half mv squared, okay? So the second part is the actual spectrometer part, right? The part that takes everything and it moves at a certain radius based on the mass. So in here, this is an example of circular motion being caused by the Lorentz force, right? So inside there, the basic equation that relates the two is, right? Because what's happening is this thing is curving and there's a force that's pushing in to make it go towards the middle, right? So these, this force is pushing in, and that's what's causing it to curve, right? So the circular motion is the mv squared over r, and the force that's causing it is the Lorentz force, which is qvb. So I have two equations now, so I need to figure out a way to get charge over mass ratio. So what I can do, these both have velocity, and I don't know the velocity. So I can solve both of these equations for v, and then see where I can go from there, right? Because I know what the voltage is. I'm trying to figure out charge and mass, right? Half is a constant charge, mass. I know radius. I know V. Yeah, so V is the only thing I don't know. So let's go solve both of these equations for V. So now I have two equations. Here's number one, and here's number two. And so number one is V squared equals two times the charge times the voltage here divided by the mass, right? So don't, when you're doing this, don't mix up your velocities and your voltages. And the second one, I have velocity equals charge times field times radius divided by the mass. Okay, so what I can do now, I'll take this one and I'm gonna square it, and then I can plug it in up there, right? So let's take this equation, V equals Q B R over N. And so if I square that, I get V squared equals Q squared b squared, r squared over m squared. So now I'm going to take this, and I know that v squared equals 2qv voltage over m. So I'm going to take this, and I'm going to plug it in for this. So when I do that, I get... So now I can solve for q over m, right? So see how I have right here... I have Q over M, so I'm just trying to try to get rid of everything. And so, whoa, it kind of works out. So look here, this mass is going to cancel one of these, right? Because if I multiply it over, it'll be in the numerator. And this charge is going to cancel out that because if I divide it over, it'll be in the denominator. So all I got to do is move these two over. So I can say that Q over M is equal to 2V over V squared R squared. There's my charge to mass ratio. And so now I can solve, right, depending on what your numbers are. I can solve because I know B and I know R and I know the voltage. So that's an example of solving these. Again, like all of these mass spectrometer problems, they're all the same thing. There's three parts, right? So the two parts we have, the accelerator is just a conservation of energy problem. And the spectrometer part is a circular motion part where the centripetal force is the Lorentz force.